welcome John Chalice. gentlemen, all the world's a stage, all the men and women, merely players, they have their exits, and their entrances, and one man in this time plays many parts. And I know what you're thinking, this is going to be a long night. <laughs> I've been so lucky really to have been part of uh, Only Falls and Horses, um, and I never forget, you know, that it's the people who turn the, the telly on that put us where we are. There's no question if they hadn't done that, we, um, I wouldn't be doing this, do you know. Um, so it's, it's great to meet uh, the people who've followed us. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's, it seems since we started, I've been got on Twitter since I started writing books because everybody said that's the thing to do. Okay, well, I'm not going to go to Twitter to do any of that nonsense. But of course, you get this terrific sort of flow of stuff coming at you. Some of it's uh, uncomplimentary, but uh, not too bad in my case, I have to say. Um, and people are just, it's never off, the show's never off, you know. Um, and I've been lucky enough to have uh, <coughs> uh, done the new series of Benny Dorm, I've done a few episodes of that, and that's a very, very popular show. So, uh, and I did a famous Doctor Who as well, a hundred years ago that was, uh, with Tom Baker, and uh, so I get the Whovians, is that what they're called? Whovians, and, and the uh, Only Fools and Horses lot, the Green Green Grass lot, and now the Benny Dorm as well. So. <laughs> I should be so lucky. <laughs> I, well, I seem to have uh, been playing one part for quite a long time, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to a stage in my life where I've only got to say one word. Molly. <laughs> and I get this enormous laugh, thank you very much. And I've only got to laugh myself. <laughs> and I get this massive round of applause. So, Backside. I turned round and there was this little woman with a parasol. I said, what do you do that for? She said, don't you be so nasty to our men, neither. That's all I'm terribly sorry about. I'm like a high-tailed out of it. And, um, but I was sort of, sort of vaguely chuffed because she'd recognised me, I suppose. John, your famous laugh, was it, was it Sullivan's? I did, or your own? There was a, a woman of a certain age, should we say, um, who sat at a table, usually with a bottle of Mackeson or something. Um, always, again, always on her own. But she, the thing about it was, she had this extraordinary machine gun laugh, and she'd suddenly laugh at absolutely nothing. I mean, nothing happened. She'd suddenly go <laughs> like this, and uh, people used to come in the pub to listen to this laugh. John is going to be signing copies of his book just outside the store here. For now, though, ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for John Chalice.